Harari, the rapid fall of Zimbabwe's president, whose guile and ruthlessness helped him out move countless adversaries over nearly four decades, probably has surprised no one more than Robert Mugabe himself. For years, he was so confident of his safety, and his potency, that he took month-long vacations away from Zimbabwe after Christmas, never facing any threat during his long, predictable absences. Even at 93, his tight grip on the country's ruling party and his control over the military made his power seem impervious to question. Zimbabwe's President Robert Mugabe defied expectations he would resign, pledging to preside over a ZANU-PF Congress next month even though the ruling party had removed him as its leader hours earlier. One of America's most notorious killers and cult leaders, the mastermind behind the helter-skelter killings in 1969 and the murder of Sharon Tate, has died at the age of 83. Three UCLA basketball players accused of shoplifting in China apologized before coach Steve Alford announced they were being suspended indefinitely. With the help of Australia's Fred Hollows Foundation and the Cambodian government, Gachan is able to see clearly for the first time in three years. Zimbabwe's President Robert Mugabe is poised to resign according to sources familiar with negotiations to oust him. The top United States nuclear commander, Air Force General John Height, says he would resist President Donald Trump if he ordered an illegal launch of nuclear weapons. Argentina's search for a missing Navy submarine is moving deeper to the seabed after a scouring of the surface pulled up no sign of the vessel and its missing 44 crew members. Zimbabwe's President Robert Mugabe defied expectations he would resign, pledging to preside over a ZANU-PF Congress next month even though the ruling party had removed him as its leader hours earlier. But in just a matter of days, Mugabe, who ruled his nation since independence in 1980, was largely stripped of his authority, even as he still clung to the presidency, 